in every US election, and Clinton versus Trump is no exception, there are accusations everywhere about the media having a liberal or a conservative bias, and there are anecdotes being told about saying, okay, the media is to the right, the media is to the left compared to voters. And the, so the real questions which we answer regarding US newspapers is, are the US media biased to the left or to the right? Our research uh, is based on a concept that is widely used in economics and political science, i.e. the concept of the median voter. The median voter is the person that is in the middle of a distribution of what people like ideologically, politically. So you might think that there are people that are uh, left-wing, so they have, they're extreme on one side, and you can have you can think that there are people that are in the middle, they are moderate, and then you can have people that are on the right hand side of the political spectrum. And the median voter is the person uh, that is exactly in the middle in the sense that 50% are to the left and 50% are to the right. Why this guy might matter? It might matter because uh, political parties, if they want to win the elections, suppose you have two parties running for elections, have a tendency to, uh, to exactly offer the policy that is liked by the median voter. Why? Because if the other candidate doesn't do the same, they're basically sure of winning because you got at least 50% of the people that would vote for you. Both newspapers and actually interest groups make endorsements, i.e. tell people what they should vote in a given referendum in their state. And at the end of the day, at election day, voters do vote on those referenda. So this is a neat way to compare in them because we can have uh, their endorsement and the overall vote on the same thing and then we can average out across different referenda to get a measure for each newspaper and then we can check about what's the distribution of biases for different newspapers in a given state and compare those positions with, with the one of the median voter. So people might think that newspapers are, are to the left or to the right systematically of the median voter. We find this question of are the media biased, the US newspapers biased to the left or to the right? The answer we give is no. We look at hundreds of newspapers on thousands of votes and what we find is that newspapers are close to the median voter and those propositions, those votes which we look at are not concentrated on a single issue but are spread out on many issues ranging from taxation to expenditure to edu education to abortion to minimum wage. If anything we do find a little bit of a liberal bias on social issues and a little bit of a conservative bias on economic issues such as the minimum wage. So affirmative action, you would have a little bit of uh, uh, liberal bias. Other economic issues, we do find a little bit of conservative bias. But overall, there's no bias.